Are you unsure about when ants fly in your region? Or do you want to know where you have the best chance at finding queen ants? Well, you're at the right place because today I'll be covering an ant nuptial flight schedule along with the most successful places and times to look for queen ants. And if you find yourself enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and join the growing ant keeping community. Let's get into it. Firstly, a general guide for when nuptial flights take place is spring and summertime. So for me in Australia, September to March, but more time frames for more specific species and weather conditions will be further broken down later in the video. So be sure to stick around. Now, here are the main species you can expect to find in Australia, Europe, and North America. Starting with Australia, you can expect to find Iridomyrmex and Ritropanera queens from September to November. Campanotus species are typically found from December to February and for Dolly from Feb to May. Mimesia queens or bull ants can be found throughout the nuptial flight season of spring and summer here in Australia, depending on the specific species. Moving on to Europe, they get Mesa species from April to May and even September to October. Campanotus species from April to September. Lazia species from July to September and Formica species from July to November. Finally, for North America, they get Campanotus species from April to August, Tetramorium from May to August, Lazia species from July to November, Solenopsis species from April to August, and Fidoli from June to September. Just remember, these dates may not be exact and may vary each year. However, they are a great guide. Now, most of the ants listed can fly throughout the full day. However, I have found that the afternoon is especially better when looking for queen ants, as I have had a lot of luck during this time frame. Along with this, nighttime hunting here in Australia, Victoria is especially good on warm summer nights. So be sure to try that out in your local area. To predict a nuptial flight, weather conditions are everything. You can expect to find queens a day or two after a rainstorm on a warm day in humid conditions. When on the hunt, ensure that you don't grab queen elates from their nest site as they won't be fertile. And remember to always have a few small vials on hand whenever you leave the house as queens can be found during the most unexpected times. For example, I once even spotted a queen at the halftime break of a footy game I was playing in. For hunting locations, it is best to go as rural as possible, as more wildlife in that area equals more ants, and more ants equals more queens. Therefore, your local park or reserve will be perfect. I have also found that sporting ovals and even golf courses are a great place to snag a few queen ants. Another great tip for searching is to stay on paths or large clear asphalted areas as this makes spotting queens a whole lot easier. For me, I use the paths around my house and this big tennis court. And here are a few queens I have just caught on this court. Firstly, these Reichpreneur Metalla queens, as well as a bunch of Iridomyrmex Bignelli queens. I have even managed to catch some parasitic queens, but I have no use for them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and for all you Australians, with spring having just started here, be sure to get out there and start hunting, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.